how to ask a woman out and be rejection proof. Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to today's video. This is an exciting one because today we're going to take a deep dive into the world of asking a woman out. We're going to rewire your approach so that one, you're going to become more charming and confident than ever before so that potential rejection is no longer a scary roadblock and so that every experience, whether positive or negative, is a stepping stone to success. So whether you want to approach women at a lively bar or a cafe or a friend's house or a party, join me in unraveling the secrets of confidently navigating those social landscapes. And I'm going to show you one by one in this video. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Apollonia Ponti and I'm a dating relationship and life coach for men. I've coached thousands of men worldwide to step into the greatest versions of themselves so that they can finally get the love and relationships that they want and deserve. I teach people how to navigate the complexes of love with grace and ease so that they can practice self-awareness, develop self-confidence and effortlessly attract meaningful relationships with women and high quality women. So if that sounds good to you and if that sounds enticing and you haven't clicked that button, click that button right now and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to promise you, you will be very thankful for the content that I deliver on this channel. <laughs> so let's get into this video. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some opening lines that you can use the next time you see a woman you want to approach. So make sure you grab a pen and piece of paper and some notes and let's get started. So let's get into it. Point number one we have to redefine rejection. I want to start things off by reshaping the way you think about rejection because this is actually the key to success. It's super important to acknowledge that not every interaction will lead to scoring her number and it shouldn't, and that's perfectly fine. In fact, success in the context should not be measured by phone number exchange, but the courage it takes to initiate the first contact that's how it should be measured. Developing this courage is what is going to lead you to incredible experiences in approaching. So let me guide you through the psychological reason of rejection and how shifting your mindset can really empower you to view every interaction as success and use it to make yourself more magnetic, they call it, and even more really attractive to women, I should say. Now, rejection is, it's in essence, is like kind of misunderstood or at least misinterpreted. Just because a woman doesn't hand over her contact information to you doesn't mean it's a failure, gentlemen. Some women may really be in relationships or just not interested in dating in that moment or just not really attracted to you because not every woman will be. Secrets out. However, the fact that you took the initiative and approached her puts you ahead of all the men who hesitated. So we need to explore how embracing this perspective transform every encounter into learning opportunities and step forward in this attraction and approaching journey. To that, let's talk about what rejection is it. It's not a reflection of your worth or desirability. It's just a natural part of dating process and understanding this can free you from the fear that often holds a lot of men back. And I see so many guys get in their heads about it, so much so that they stop themselves before they even try. And they deny themselves the chance of success out of a fear of potential rejection, when maybe half the times, if they were just themselves in the face of a woman, they probably could have got the number and gone on a date and who knows what else. I don't even want to begin to imagine the number of missed opportunities this has created for men. But in any case, each interaction is a chance to learn and improve and just have a success in itself. And the second thing we need to go over is um, really just changing the landscape, okay? Have you noticed the evolving dynamics of social interactions in our day-to-day -day ages right now? More and more happens on apps and people shy away from real life interactions because it's just easier to remain kind of anonymous and therefore immune to the sting of rejection. And you know what this means in real life, right? It means that women aren't being approached as frequently anymore. And that's fantastic news for the guy that wants to approach. With fewer men initiating conversations, your chances of making a lasting impression have significantly increased. Social dynamics, technology, and evolving societal norms have all played a role. Understanding the reason behind the declining frequency of real life approaches, we should say, is super important. And armed with this knowledge, you'll be better equipped to really navigate today's dating scene. You have to capitalize on this shift and make the most of the increasing odds in your favor. So how do you do that? Well, let's get practical with point 
three, approaching in different settings. I want to explore two scenarios, the digital approach and the timeless in-person approach. And yes, we do still need to talk about how to approach a woman on a dating app because it isn't an edible part of our society. Plus, the more you practice talking to women online in the comfort of your own home, the easier it will feel whenever you're doing it out in the real world. Okay, so let me guide you through crafting the perfect message that's not only captures her attention, but also lays the foundation for a meaningful connection. Remember, it's not just about what you say, but how you say it. In fact, I have created a masterclass all on how to flirt with women via text. It's an online communication strategy course that you can basically do and increase your chances of receiving positive messages from women. I'll include that in the description link below. Okay. So understanding the nuances of online communication is essential from crafting a compelling, I should say, opening message to maintaining engaging conversations with basically actionable things. But for now, just remember that embracing authenticity and showcasing your personality through text can significantly really enhance your dating success. And here's a little secret. Women really appreciate sincerity. So when you're composing that message, let your genuine self sign through. Share a bit of your interests or something that's interesting that happened to you recently. This not only makes the conversation more interesting, but also gives her a glimpse into your personality. For example, if something really funny happens to you, tell her about it when she asks you how your week has been going. Or let's say it's a particularly rainy or snowy day where you live and she says, how's your day going? Instead of you just saying like, good, how's yours? Tell her that your day is going well and you're taking advantage of the gloomy weather to be cozy at home with your favorite music and have the fireplace on, reading a nice book and just catching up. What you're doing is you're giving her a visual. What woman wouldn't want to be in a cozy home with the fireplace? Tell her what the music is and what the books are too and start the conversation from there. Women like it when you can paint a picture in their minds of what your universe is like, what your personality is like, and what it is and what it would be like to spend time with you. Trust me when I tell you that women are tired of going through the same script time after time where it's just like, hey, how's it going? Good. How about you? Just chilling. And then the conversation just flatlines. So don't shy away from details when chatting with women, even in the beginning stages of the conversation. Keep it short, sweet, and simple. Don't do long paragraphs of details. Short and simple goes far. This is especially important when you're talking to her online because she has no way of seeing you, feeling your vibe, and picturing herself with you. Now, when it comes to your approaching women in person, I've got you covered. Mastering the art of in-person interactions involves understanding body language, gauging the other person's responses, and adapting your approach accordingly. There are a couple of positive signs to look for in her body language, like open posture, eye contact, her smiling, and mirroring her body language. So open posture means her arms aren't crossed and her chest is facing you. Mirroring is when she unconsciously mirrors using your gestures or postures. And this is something that suggests that she's comfortable and at ease. But most importantly, let me give you some opening lines to use when you want to approach her. A few of my favorite ones that I share with my clients sometimes. One is, hey, my name is Apollonia. I wanted to challenge myself and approach you because you are stunning. Hope I don't get rejected. Okay, you see how tone is everything. Give her a genuine smile and make sure you have open posture. Another great version of this is, I noticed you earlier when I arrived and I told myself that if I was still thinking about you by the time my buddies and I finished our drink or dinner, I would have to come say hi. You can also say, hey, I'm Apollonia. Nice to meet you. I just had to let you know that you are out of this world. Or, Hey, I'm Apollonia. Just wanted to let you know you have a great vibe about you or you have really great energy about you. Once you start talking to her, make sure that you have the body language cues that conveys confidence. Be relaxed and remind yourself that there are no stakes, really. You're just a person talking to another person, practicing actively listening, talking to people, and remember that she, what she says and being relevant with questions and making sure she understands your genuine interests. So you build rapport by talking about common interests, negative potential rejections gracefully, and learn from them. <laughs> to go further, I really recommend you to check out that flirt course, and it's in the description below, because it's really full of plug and play scripts that you can use in your all kinds of scenarios like this. Remember, success isn't about the outcome. It's about having the courage to take that first step. 
Armed with a fresh perspective and practical strategies, you're now prepared to embark on your journey of becoming rejection proof. As you step into the world of dating and you have this knowledge and you keep your mind open, you're going to see there's going to be more possibilities and opportunities of women. And if it winds up not working out with a woman, despite your best efforts, know that it was not meant to be, and you will find a better match. And honestly, you're one step ahead of a lot of other men that are not doing this because they're just not. And there's probably a lot of reasons why they're not. And I would just say a lot of men are just placing blame when they say, oh, you can't approach women these days because of X, Y, Z. That's just them taking that and saying, I'm going to use this to hide behind it instead of embracing my masculine presence and going after what I want. Because by embracing rejection, it's a natural part of the process and you'll find you'll be more resilient and have more human connections with women than just online dating all the time. And the more resilient you are, the more confident and the more charming you become, which makes you more attractive. So as you can see, it is a positive snowball effect. So with that said, here's to meaningful connections, memorable encounters, and the exciting journey ahead. Remember, don't be scared to be yourself. Make sure you do things that make you feel confident, wear great clothes when you go out, and when you know you're going to approach a woman, make sure that you dress the part as well, men. This is so, so important when it comes to body language. So cheers to your success in mastering the art of asking her out and approaching her. And also, if you want to continue watching, not only do I have this great video over here, but it's really about what women should be bringing to the table and in the dating phase. And I think this is so, so important for men to watch. So go ahead and watch that next video right over here. And it's what women should be bringing to the table in 2024. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.